Alright. Couldn't really find another gun, so I'm just gonna have to stick with this. I'm barely having any ammo shit. Why is that? Oh, that's the tower. Hello. I thought that was like an upended ship, just Look, somehow what is horizontal, it? or I mean vertical in the air. Look, you can use the songbird to bring the whole damn thing down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want. It's the only way we'll find the truth. Pop my finger, calm stuff. Is this the big decision? Everything. Apparently not. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Songbird is of destroying itself in there. That's gonna. That's a big chain reaction. Hope we don't end up destroying ourselves. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Whistler, Elizabeth, the bird, Elizabeth. I lost control. He's coming. No, oh shit! <laughs> no, ain't no thing. Just wave him out of existence. Where is, Where is he? What the hell? I'm here. We're in no. No. Elizabeth. Does she become that? I'm sorry. No. What is this place? Elizabeth. It's a doorway. One of what many. the fuck? This way. What do you mean it's a doorway? Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. Over here, Booker. I'm mind fucked right now. I got this nothing to say. To go. Why? What is going on, Elizabeth? What do you mean that this is a doorway? I'll have to show you. Fuck that! I'm looking around. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Oh my god! It's a fucking Vita chamber. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god! This is ridiculous. What does that say? Oh, I thought this was a P. I was like, what the hell is Pi? But no, Ryan doesn't own us. So does this... Probably gonna regret this. So was that the lighthouse? It was the same lighthouse, just in a different time period? So when I said there was crazy deja vu, it actually was crazy deja vu. Don't you dare tell me that this homie ends up being the dude, the main Shit, character of Bioshock Bio 1. Ridiculous. That was stupid. That was a stupid comment right there. For, forgive me. All my theories are wrong. All my theories are stupid. Clearly, I have no perception whatsoever. I have no intuition. I'm just along for the ride. This is why I shouldn't talk. This is why I should just sit here, silence. So yeah, it's the lighthouse. Look at that. Thousands of doors. Opening all at once. My god, they're beautiful. What the stars? Come on. Come on, it's this way. This is trippy as hell. Are you going to open it? Oh, it's no good. Damn it. I thought once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought... Oh, that's awesome. What is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just... I just couldn't see it. 
Let me look at the moon again. That's amazing. I wish I had that clear of a view of the moon every night. See? Not stars. They're doors. Doors to... To everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. What? What? What are all these lighthouses? Why are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. All different. All similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. Oh my god, which way do I go? Sometimes, something's different. Constance. The variables. Yes. What if I want to open that door? What if I want to go back to the other one? This is killing me. There's two different ways and no clear direction. Ah! What if I make the wrong choice? What if I kill the world? That'll be on my head. Oh, what am I gonna live with that? I'm serious, this shit, just, it does, it really does just continue onwards over here. And now we have a different door to choose from. God damn it. Oops, one button. Is that us? It's us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans but land on the same shore. It always starts with the lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. Oh, now There's she's... so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker. We've already been. Can I go back? Can't go to the other doorway. This shit is ridiculous. What is going on? My brain does not comprehend. Oh no, it's another choice. Right's closer, so we're going right. I'm lazy. Look at that. You can see yourself in the distance over there. Oh, that's trippy. What if we go all the way around? Do we meet each other? Like, do we meet ourselves? Oh no, there's another lighthouse star. Choice here, huh? Can't go running off somewhere else. Forcing me to do it? God damn it. Are you ready to be born again? Can I just barrel through these do dudes? Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate? Leave behind all you were before and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb. Jesus! Wash this man clean. Father, make him stop it. Lord, stop it. What stop are you doing? Do Get off me! Shut up! You didn't go through with it. I think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done. Let's get out of here. Hey, look. These doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. Tripping me out, woman. And what of my debts? Bring us the go and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? 
Yes, the girl for the debt. I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. No. Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. So I have no option. Can't barrel through him. Can't punch him in the face. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you up on your sins. There was no baby. The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, you're bleeding. No. I remember. But I remember. Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit of hunter is yours. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 Go on with our lives. You don't need Dad, to... You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. I can't go over there. You're ruining my need for exploration. The deal is off, you hear me? The deal is off! Give her back! Give her back! Fine, are you mad? Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! No! No! No, no, no! No! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! Do it! Give me back my daughter! No! Oh, fuck! What? Why didn't you just hold on for a little bit longer, bro? Couldn't you overpower an old man? So how did we forget that? Back here again? What the fuck? 
I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back, killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. Yeah, surely nothing can go wrong here. <laughs> nothing ever goes wrong. How she? How does she keep like teleporting, and the boat's gone? Something is fucked here. Like it makes no sense that both times she just suddenly teleports over here, and the boat is just magically gone. I mean, at least the first time through, we saw the boat roll away. I'm still tripped that we went to Rapture. Like, they should have just ended it right there. Like, just done. <laughs> You're in Rapture. What the hell? Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Look at the wit. Are you ready to be born again? Why are you, are you back here? This isn't the same place, Walker. Of course it is. I remember... Are you ready to leave behind all that has gone before? Wipe your sleep clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away by the other oceans. Of the lamb. Didn't you took the baptism? Do you hate your sin? You were born again as a different man. Do you hate your it all has to end. To have never started, not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the grass. Smother, 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 smother. Okay, that's crazy. Before you are reborn. And what name should you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. Oh my god, I did call it. Dude. Oh my god, screw you, Bioshock. I'm so mad right now. I dismissed that as like the dumbest possible thing, and they do it? Oh, come on. I'm actually kind of mad about that. So actually them doing that, it kills Elizabeth. Kills Anna. She's never here. No, that doesn't make any sense. Because this is after she was born. So like, or maybe just do I will. This is all. Why am I trying to apply logic to this situation? There's nothing logical. You don't walk through lighthouse doors and find yourself in different worlds. So that really is it. I'm so mad about that! Ah, if I actually, if I had known there was an achievement, I should actually, that's something I should check beforehand. Because if I had known there was an achievement, I'll probably, I mean, obviously, we saw, I was kind of ass at the game, so I probably would have died more if I had played through on hard, but it's, it was never really that hard. I, re I really only had difficulty with, obviously, that last level where I ended up, I didn't, did I, I did die on that last level once, but, I had failed the last level, I probably would have failed it more on hard mode. And then against the handymen, I had trouble, but really, other than that, the... It was kind of just a matter of me not being careful, me being reckless. And so, but anyway, just to kind of just throw out my own little... I mean, I'm sure there's going to be an after credits thing, because I think there was there in the first Bioshock? Anyway, I'm, like I said, I'm actually kind of mad that he really actually did end up being Comstock, because... I mean, like I said, I said that earlier. What if this happens? Maybe this is gonna happen. It's kind of hinting at it. But then, I, I mean, I dismissed it because personally I thought that is like the most stereotypical thing that happens in a time traveling uh, world is that like either the main character runs into themselves like corrupted or something or, you know, something or other happens to turn them into something that, what was the most recent example of that. I think it was actually another game. Infamous. That happened in Infamous too, right? I haven't actually played the game. But I know it happened. Like, that's actually not the game I'm thinking of. There was another game, but I do know that happened in Infamous. 
what game am I thinking? Anyway, that that's happened in other games as well. Where, you know, like, you end up, you're fighting this villain the entire time. You're hunting down this dude that you know is the source of the problems. And then it ends up being, like, he's there because of some time travel thing. He's there and he's you. And so you end up killing yourself or whatever, which is what happened there. And, like, that just kind of kills me. That kind of thing kills me because it's basically, like, the entire process that you just went through, the entire thing that you, I mean, obviously what we all just went through in that experience was not something that you, wasn't exactly, uh, good, <laughs> since, you know, a lot of fire and blood and whatnot, a lot of death, but still, basically, because of the end of what just occurred right there, of the implications of it, none of this happened. Now Comstock no longer exists, that means Columbia no longer exists, that means everything that we just experienced no longer exists in the world. And that concept always bothers me. It's a sense of like, what you just, what everything you just did doesn't matter. Everything you just did was pointless. I mean, obviously, in reality, it wasn't. I got to play the game, I got to enjoy the game, and I did enjoy the game. We know I enjoyed the game. There was much less bitching than usual for me. But, um, oh, who was she? I mean, obviously, I knew Booker was Troy Baker the entire time. Who am I looking for right now? Jennifer Hale. She was credited as a character. Rosalind, okay. Um, she was, for those of you that may not know, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but she was the voice of the, uh, female, um, the female shepherd in Mass Effect. But yeah, so I mean, I, those kind of stories kind of bugged me the wrong way, and I really was looking, I mean, I guess it was kind of my own faulty expectations there, because I had heard from everybody, like, the twist at the end of Bioshock Infinite was just fantastic and amazing, came out of nowhere, blah, blah, blah. And so I was expecting something, you know, to just blow my mind, and then to have it actually be what I called out when we were running through his Zeppelin, through the hand of the prophet, is a little bit of a disappointment. Because, I mean, you know, when you're expecting something that's going to blow your mind, something's going to be, like, you know, worthy of praise, like I've heard for it, you expect it to be something that you wouldn't be able to see coming. That's kind of what a good twist is. It's something you don't see coming. And I ended up, I did. And that's saddening. But despite that, it was still a very good experience all the way through. I mean, I've had my own personal issues with that whole ending right there, but that's, again, my own personal issues. I'm fully aware that quite a few people are not going to share those same issues. Um, the gameplay itself, I mean, the game was very good. Obviously, the gameplay was very good. Uh, it could have used a little bit of tightening up. I mean, there were a lot of moments where, maybe I'm just hallucinating, I don't know, but it seemed like there were a lot of moments where I was aiming straight at somebody, and then, like, the lightning bolt just shot all the way off to the, like, you know, to the wrong side of the screen or something. And then the other thing that actually got me that I noticed, I don't think I ever actually talked about it while it was happening, but, like, for instance, when I kept talking about the camera going all over the place with the rocket launcher on that last level, the reasoning for that is because the camera moves itself, your aim moves itself depending on the motions your character takes while reloading. I noticed that. And that's why the camera moved all over the place. And while realistic, I don't like it because it throws off your aim unnecessarily. And, I mean, it caused all kinds... When you can cancel out the reloading animation to do a power, that's kind of... I don't know, I didn't... I wasn't big on it, but... I mean, it's not like it kills the game. It kills the enjoyment of the game, that little aspect of it. Other than that, I mean, very good game. Very good music, very good atmosphere. I still... While it was a good atmosphere, and thankfully it was not like Bioshock 1 from Bioshock 2, that this was a new atmosphere, I feel like they still, uh, they didn't beat Rapture. They didn't, Rapture was like, that first game, the atmosphere, the environment, the implications of everything that went on, this game just didn't have, it couldn't hold a candle to that initial atmosphere, and I don't know if they'll ever beat it. I don't know, I mean, it was such an amazing game. It was such an amazing twist. I mean, that was something that, like, you could not see coming. It was, but it, once you saw it, it just, it was mind-blowing. And, I mean, the 
fault of that game obviously was the final boss and I can appreciate their lack of a final boss and rather than having a final boss uh, that you could potentially just like overpower like what I was expecting to be able to fight the songbird uh, and instead just having like a really a very big significant final battle was a good idea if they're not confident in their ability to do a good final boss fight then that's a that's an effective way to handle that so I can appreciate that but again still like I mean how many people were dissatisfied there with not being able to brawl with the songbird I know I wanted to even if the story like forces you to end up losing in the end I still wanted to brawl with it I wanted to fight it I wanted to do something with it so that's I think that's a missed opportunity but again I mean they haven't they've, sh they've kind of shown that they're not particularly good at doing like big boss fights like there weren't any big boss fights in this game in the initial you know they were kind of like little checkpoints along the way to test your abilities you know the first time you meet the firebomb or the first time you meet the crow uh, user the first time you meet the handyman that is actually another thing there were not enough handymen to fight in this game there were not I mean what how many we fight four I don't think we even fought five some try I mean there was the initial one which I can't remember where it was and there was that second one that was uh, I think four I think we only fought four handymen I don't know if that changes based on difficulty, like maybe they throw more handymen at you based on the difficulty you've chosen. But only, but I mean, four or five throughout the entire game? That seems very, very unnecessarily low. So that was another missed opportunity, I think, in my opinion. But overall, very, very good game. Unfortunately, it's not, it certainly doesn't seem like the choices that I made along the way. Because I mean, like, at least somewhat the choices you made along the way in Bioshock 1 kind of had an, uh, had an impact on the ending, you know, either you free the, all the little, all the little sisters or they end up, you know, being just harvested for Adam, whatever, it didn't seem like the decisions here really meant anything to the overall implications of the game, story, it seemed like it was just gonna play out. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Every game should not have, like, the ability to be open-ended and have seven different endings. That's unnecessary, and I know, like, uh, there's so many people, whenever you have a game that is just, you're playing this, you're enjoying the story, you're along for the ride, you have no impact on the story, you're just there being a part of it. And it seems like every time, people always, like, that for some unnecessary reason, they feel like they have to be able to choose, they have to be able to have a good or an evil or a neutral ending or whatever, and that's unnecessary. I mean, you know, for a game like... This is fine, it's that one line later on. Yeah. Well, he'll figure it out. <clears throat> so I'm saying, went back home, Lord, my home was lonesome. Went back home. Was well, this the song that she sang when we were playing the guitar? I never did find that cipher, did I? It, then it goes, I thought I heard what a whore. Ah! Oh, you got a minute and a half, broskies. Everybody gotta have such insanely long credits now. And then it's missing the next line. That's what I'm saying, like, this is the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, but then... And I don't think that's supposed to say alone. Put alone with Santa. Um, we're supposed to say alone. We'll, we'll get the actual one else. Can we have a third this year? There are loved ones in the glory Whose dear forms you often miss When you close your earthly story Will you I'm gonna have to do a continuation, that's such a shame. Please at least finish the song first. <laughs> 